section of Ark Survival Evolved. As you can see, when I start the game and I join directly from the game servers, you're going to be shown this network failure message and it's going to say unable to query server info for invite. And when you accept it, it's going to lead you back to this main screen. And then this is the how you know you have your issue. Nothing's going to pop up here and here. And when I click on join Ark, it's either going to freeze like it does now or just crash the game. So the way to get around this is usually if your favorites don't show up in the uh, server like list, you will come to Steam, go to view, game servers, and then you can put the IPs in here and direct join the server. But I see that currently didn't work. So the issue for the most updated Arc Survival Evolved, as you can see here, is that this Aquatica update ruined it. So basically for all the old like modded servers like Mesa and INX, you can't join that anymore because they haven't updated their servers to Aquatica because there's there's no reason to. So for some people, it might be network connectivity issues. But for me, what I found out was first, you need to verify the integrity of your game files and make sure that's all backed up. But actually what you need to do here is come to the betas and then select pre-Aquatica. When you select it, it should update your game. So now you're reverting back to the old version of the game and then you're going to be able to play on these older servers on Arc Survival Vault. All right. Um, once it's done updating, it will see the selected version as pre-Aquatica. And now you can either go to the game servers and join directly or when you press play. Right now that it's launched, you're going to be able to see the difference. You're going to have the Arc news, everything up here. Join Arc. You're going to get all these different unofficial servers and go to favorites. Everything should pop up. You should be able to directly join. And yeah, I hope this video was uh, helpful to everyone watching. I know I personally wasn't able to play Ark for like a, at least a month or two just because of this um, Aquatica update. I had no idea how to fix it. And uh, let me know in the comments down below if this worked for you. And yeah, just trying to be helpful.